Today I shall be offering a brief meditation for Good Friday, prayerfully reflecting on the words of Jesus from the cross. I begin with this meditation at 12 noon, and then on the hour each hour, 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock and 3 o'clock, I shall continue with another brief meditation. The meditations are recorded, so if you'd like to come back to them later in the day, you can do so easily. I'm going to begin with one of the collects for Good Friday. Almighty Father, look with mercy on this your family, for which our Lord Jesus Christ was content to be betrayed and given up into the hands of sinners and to suffer death upon the cross, who is alive and glorified with you and the Holy Spirit, one God now and forever. Amen. Our first reading comes from Isaiah chapter 53 and verses 1 to 4. Who has believed our message? And to whom has the arm of the Lord been revealed? He grew up before him like a tender shoot and like a root out of a dry ground. He had no beauty or majesty to attract us to him. Nothing in his appearance that we should desire him. He was despised and rejected by mankind. A man of suffering and familiar with pain. Like one from whom people hide their faces, he was despised. And we held him in low esteem. Surely he took up our pain and bore our suffering. Yet we considered him punished by God, stricken by him and afflicted. But he was pierced for our transgressions. He was crushed for our iniquities. The punishment that brought us peace was on him. And by his wounds we are healed. We all, like sheep, have gone astray. Each one of us has turned to his own way, and the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. Our reflection begins at the moment Jesus is hung on the cross. We hear his first words addressed to those who nailed him there. Luke chapter 23 and verses 33 to 34. Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they are doing. When they came to the place called the skull, they crucified Jesus there along with the criminals, one on his right and the other on his left. Jesus said, Father, Forgive them, for they do not know what they are doing. They divided up his clothes by casting lots. We pray. Lord, so often it is hard for us to make the choice to forgive those who have hurt us and wounded us deeply. Yet how can we not forgive others in the light of your mercy to us? We ask today for your grace that we may repent of the resentments and wrong attitudes we harbour towards others, especially at this time of testing and uncertainty. Give us, we pray, generous hearts and forgiving minds. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. The next words we hear from Jesus are addressed to the thief who hangs on the cross at his side. Luke 23 and verses 39 to 43. Truly I tell you, today you will be with me in paradise. One of the criminals who hung there with Jesus hurled insults at him. Aren't you the Messiah? 
save yourself and us. But the other criminal rebuked him. Don't you fear God, he said, since you are under the same sentence. We are punished justly, for we are getting what our deeds deserve. But this man has done nothing wrong. Then he said, Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus answered him, Truly I tell you, today you will be with me in paradise. And we pray. Lord, we pray for those who even today are coming to the close of life's journey here. Especially, we remember those who have been affected by COVID-19, those who have become ill, and those who watch with them, or worse still, wait apart from them. Draw near to them, we pray. Hold out to them the hope of heaven and the promise of life eternal. Open the eyes of their hearts that they may receive your salvation. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And I close with words from Malcolm Goit. And here we see the length, the breadth, the height, where love and hatred meet and love stays true where sin meets grace and darkness turns to light. We see what love can bear and be and do. And here, our Saviour calls us to his side. His love is free. His arms are open wide. Behold, the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. God be with you.